In India, a very common phenomenon found in most families is gender or sexual division of labor. These divisions are not biological but social. While women are expected to do housework like cooking and cleaning, men work outside the home. However, men do take up household related jobs when they are paid for it. In rural areas, women fetch water, collect firewood for fuel, and work in the fields. Whereas in urban areas, many poor women work as domestic helpers or take up petty jobs to make ends meet. In reality, most of the poor and middle class women juggle between work and home. And although these women are engaged in paid work as well as domestic labor, their work is not valued and recognized. Earlier, women were not allowed to participate in public affairs, cast votes, and contest for public offices. As a result, women across the globe organized and campaigned for equal rights. They demanded the rights to vote, enhancements in political and legal status, and better educational and career opportunities. There were several feminist movements which aimed at bringing about equality in personal and family life. These movements did improve the status of women in many countries. Unfortunately, in India, women still lag behind men for several reasons. Our country still follows the patriarchal system, wherein the male is the head of the family. Another reason is that the literacy rate among women in India is only 54% as against 76% among men. Only a very small percentage of girl students are allowed to go for higher studies. As a result, very few women have highly paid jobs. The gender division also reflects in the fact that women are typically paid less than men for the same work. This is a violation of the Equal Wages Act. The decline in the child sex ratio is another important indication of gender discrimination. The child sex ratio in India was 927 girls per thousand boys in 2001. It was much lower in areas like Punjab and Haryana where the ratio was 850 or even 800. Even today in India, many parents prefer to have male children and it is a common practice among many such parents to get the female fetus aborted. A lot of women in India also face harassment and exploitation at work, and many are subjected to domestic violence at home. One way to empower women is to elect more women as political representatives. Statistics reveal that the percentage of elected women members in the Lok Sabha is less than 10% of its total strength. The situation is still worse in the state assemblies, where the percentage of elected women members is less than 5%. Even in cases where a woman becomes a chief minister or a prime minister, her cabinet is dominated by men. Therefore, a fair proportion of seats need to be reserved for women in the elected bodies. The Panchayati Raj has adopted this approach and one-third of the total seats in panchayats and municipalities are reserved for women. Women activists are now demanding one-third seats for women in the Lok Sabha and the state assemblies. A bill with this proposal has been presented in the parliament. However, political parties have been unable to arrive at an agreement about this bill, and hence it has been pending in the parliament. Although. Social divisions due to gender have reduced in India. There is still a long way to go before women and men are treated at par.